of this bombing constant yeah. bombing of constant bombing of civilian areas constant bombing and killing of children and women and constant bombing of hospitals and schools this is exactly where you know the uh, the the are exporting this mindset basically israel is not yeah. eradicating terror it's potentially sowing the seeds of growing further terrorism basically israel yeah the more they bomb the more hamas they are creating that's that's simple, yeah. that's simple thing right yeah because like forgot about the ideologies forgot about the nationalism and someone bomb you yeah. someone kill you someone in your family of course you want revenge it's nothing to blame yeah she wants revenge and maybe she will give a religious justification and people think she is doing her out of religion yeah there is a little bit of religious inspiration in that but more so it is the traumatic experience of seeing israel bombing the gaza on yeah, the civilian yeah, that's, that's true that's true to the israel sanction she will she will go even further extremism towards basically that's true that's true that's true i think like that I, that's uh, that's something wrong with the uh, ex muslims that i'm seeing as well so like i was checking that youtube channel i think the guy uh watching the other day um amini or no i amin the guy armin nawabi yeah i think that's the guy i'm not like too sure uh, it is the public right man yeah yeah i think the guy he was talking yeah. about yeah he was talking about the left being supporting uh like palestine hamas things like that. i mean there are some truth in it i mean that's a bit complicated situation that's what i'm thinking like yeah yeah, yeah the yeah. muslims are a bit wrong but they are not the, the, the thing only is one. ex-muslims are trying to do oversimplification here when yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, simple and and guess what they are not the only ones doing it on the other side we have the white leftists doing the same thing same thing for hamas like i have seen i saw one interview i not the interview it's like a clip from the city council meetup so you know city yeah. council meetup so there will be a lot of leftists there and they are saying mm-hmm. like hamas is not a terrorist organization i was like what the fuck and there's not one or two that was like literally around five to ten people and all were white and you know that's like they are not even muslims that's the oh man see you know, uh, i that guess i make. guess uh, yeah yeah, yeah so, though, though, though i though i i i agree yeah, yeah i agree that it is alarming but it also tells the ignorance of geopolitics they're ignorant yeah, exactly. about it probably yeah exactly so they they they, like they the haven't story. they haven't like they haven't looked at history of the muslim brotherhood they haven't looked at the history of uh, you know the plo the palestine liberation organization they haven't looked at the history of you know local uh, wahhabism uh, the, how the salafi and wahhabism developed in saudi arabia and it went out to other parts of the globe you know try and the spawning of the spawning of the local a uh, jihadist organization and yeah. they have looked at these things basically yeah what that, i noticed that's the problem these ex muslim is that uh they are the total and i'm i'm and you know here is the thing i seriously doubt are they really genuinely left i doubt it because many of them are pro establishment basically okay they are pro establishment but they support palestine that's it and uh, they're okay with immigrants like, many of them so- when we talk about strategy kind of layer yeah i think religion plays a really tiny role but when we talk about the like public the population religion plays yeah. a really, really really uh like influential Big role. so we have to yeah. like, different just like distinguish between these two right but, like when we talk about the leadership of hamas or when we talk about the leadership of israel religion plays really tiny role man that's all about economic interests you know they are ruling class interests and things like that but when we yeah. talk about normal people like normal walking people who are attending these protests doing all sort of like chants on both sides religion mm-hmm. plays a really good role like for example i don't yeah. know about you but for me 
as a nice muslim i was raised ah, yeah it's true for hindu me. community as well it plays a big yeah. role i get that even for hindu yeah, community it's, like, it's true even for me yeah. like someone who was who was born and raised in a muslim society i was taught to hate america i was taught to hate israel you know like once 911 happens i notice a lot of my family member were cheering that yeah we did it you know things like that we literally you know so you, Saudi you, Asia, you, you, you nothing connected <laughs> one, one, like i would still say i would still say one point is right at america yeah i mean that's still valid but <clears throat> not necessarily for the reason that they are non muslim but main reason is capitalism and how they made the things from bad to worse or they make it worse yeah or at yeah, the best again the, you, you know the... somalia you know somalia somalia didn't have terrorism before you have boko haram running rampant in the entire country somalia mm. right yeah yeah so like, as i mentioned like on the pop, on the population level they don't know about these man like most of them they just do trading you know they just do 9 to 5 jobs that's pretty measured for but even for them religion plays a role they're like yes maybe it is uh, it kind of gives them that psychological our, soothing like yeah our muslim brothers and sisters you know like this kind of nationalism that it's not based on the uh, national identity it's based on the religious identity kind of thing but it's not yeah, I... it's not foreign to the like it's not only about muslims it is you can also see that on other other groups hindu right? as well when hindu we group about, as well yeah. yeah when we talk about buddhist right uh so like the ultra nationalist in like ultra nationalist buddhist in bama what do they say they like look at look at afghan it was a buddhist country it is no more now buddhist are being oppressed i mean of course mm. there's no there's no there's, there's no denying here right like buddhist yeah. are oppressed in afghanistan there's not no doubt about it but i mean what is the connection between these Polish people in Afghan and these Polish people in Burma like nothing in common like except yep. the working class interests we have nothing in common they have a different culture you know you know you know, you know you know you know why do we yeah like, why do we hate those people who are dealing with like why do we hate those muslims who have more similarity with us like who share the same so let's, culture let's do one thing let's do one thing uh, things like that uh, that's what this i know here is the here is the thing here is the thing okay let's say we we have some taliban people and have them converted to buddhism hypothetically okay and let us send them to you know burma or sri lanka they will react them as though they are terrorist even though they converted to buddhism why it's because of ethnicity that's it yeah so you know you know you know if you if you think buddhist and they are, that that's not going to work out at the end of the day even if you assume they all convert let's say all the taliban leadership somehow somehow they got something enlightenment and they converted to buddhism okay <laughs> and they are come to burma sri lanka will they be treated as yeah brothers or buddhists no they will no. be treated with <clears throat> leather and shoes basically yeah yeah of course i mean so uh, that speaks the ethnicity sure. here yeah it's about uh, it's about ethnicity religious identity as well like it is not about one identity like it's not all, only about class it's not only about nationalism it's not only about race it's not only about religion yeah. like they all play together and somehow become yeah. some big but it's become it's like a switch on or switch off mode depending on the situation basically yeah 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 so i think so like, if you say so if you see level, if you see so if you see like uh place the buddhist of different countries among themselves and let's say you're all buddhist are you united no they'll not be they'll be fighting they the question fight will be sure. of ethnicity they will they'll fight be, uh, sure with the ethnic groups yeah. and things like that yeah so but you know first not about ethnic city after all, it's all about interest you know like self interest, interest. exactly but, exactly I mean, that's, exactly that's on the level of leadership but what it comes to the people you know as a man of propaganda they will use these nationalism ethnic city you know like these bullshit kind of solidarity stuff like that is not based on the legit uh like interests that something mm-hmm. that is from the abstract level of you know something that is imaginary kind of identity mm. 
And then that's the that's what happens even with the ex Muslims. Like <clears throat> I think they are the uh, like opposite quine, opposite face of the same quai of the white left woke. Like woke left, kind of like stupid people. Yeah. You know, like yeah, yeah. so when we yeah. look at the white people, well like no white but, people uh, as they, only these one, like, people fight they people of color these, as well. They people these people color fight well. but the, yeah, these people fight, but they never question about the system. No that's critical thing, analysis thing. of the system. Yeah. yeah, and what I also notice is that, um, so let's say, we, if we look at the left, it's not only about white. There are some, like, second generation people of color, you know, second generation yeah. who have never lived in Syria, who have never lived in Palestine, but somehow, you know, yeah. have this identity, like, ah, we're Palestinian, we're Syrian, you know, things like that, but they never live in those areas. Like yeah, things like that. Yeah. So, what I call them is like bananas, you know, like they are yellow in terms of like cover, but inside they are mm. white, you know, like they are people of color, they say, but they're just white people because they are not really as they have not, they don't have the experience that we have from the third world because they are born and bred mm -hmm. here in the developed countries, like the imperialist countries. So, yeah. they say they are Syrians, they say they are Indian, they say they are Burmese, you know, but. At the end of the day, no, they are just some uh, privileged kids who were born and breed in privileged. imperialist exactly. countries. And what do yeah, they do? Privileged like, kids uh, enjoying the fruits of, uh, you know, dead people in the Middle East. That's true. That's true. Basically. And what do they say? Yeah. Like, for them, they have this guilty conscience. Like, oh, poor Palestinians, oh, poor Syrians, oh, poor Burmese. Yeah. Yeah. But they don't do serious analysis. They don't really want the platform for those people from these countries who have the yeah. unique experience, you know? And then what do they say? They are like, no, Hamas is good. Hamas is not a terrorist organization. We will cheer you up, you know? And at the same time, the literal Palestinians, they, they are like, why did you attack? Now we are being bombed, you know? Things like that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you know? And that's true, right? Like, even for me, like even for the people like for for example my partner she is on a minority ethnic group in Burma, and her area mm -hmm. is has always war there like battles and things like that so for for most of the Burmese people like majority people just like hindu like we could say like maharashtran mm -hmm. kind of like majority people Burmese people mm -hmm. they say oh your ethnic and group is really good like your ethnic malaysia is really good and she's mm. and for her, I asked her the question, babe, what do you think of these people? She is like, No, they are the same face of the like they are the different face of same quiet. For her, the military and these ethnic militia, they are the same thing. Because whenever they come in, they squeeze the people out, give us money for our revolution, you know, things like that. And whenever the battle comes out, after all, it is the civilian who suffer, you know. Like, mm -hmm, at the end mm -hmm. of the day, the population suffers. The militia, yeah. of course, like if they we have a really solid, good, uh, political outlook, it is worth sacrificing. Mm -hmm. But if it is just some sort of like barbaric, bullshit kind of thing, no, it's not worth it, right? So things like that. Yeah. So that's somehow ended that kind of like woke, bullshit leftists. So, like simply mm. for Hamas, like hey Hamas, we are Hamas, you know, we are Hezbollah, things like that, Jewish people. And on the other side, those ex-Muslims, like for their entire life, they were taught to hate Israel. They were taught to hate Western. Yeah, Western again, Israel. it's a guilt. It's guilt here them, again. Yeah, for them, they break their tie, they break their norms of like hating Israel, but. But what happened is yeah okay fine you 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 need not i i again i need I, here is I, here is one more class i need i am not hating israel when i say i hate uh, what i mean is i hate the political leadership the elite yeah, yeah, of that I community you, like what i'm trying to say is like it is a swing right it's a swing you know like on the yeah. west on the west side the privileged kid like who think they you know are, who like, deserves the, you know who like deserves western, the lot of uh, how do we say like their western lifestyle yeah who, who think it is guilty and they are thinking of hamas as a good and like good uh leadership and on the other side we have the ex-muslims who don't really like the muslim lifestyle 
Mm-hmm. And then when they see Western lifestyle, they are like, oh, that is really good, you know, like swing, like, like a swing, like they have just basically yeah. switching sides. And then they became like enemies out of their own interests. That's quick call. Yeah, yeah, you, uh, just, you, you know were speaking, I mean? yeah. Like, they just like yeah. swapping sides, like one so the Western privileged kids, they yep. don't really acknowledge their freedom. And they think it's like a bad thing. And they it's like taken for granted, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And on the other side, like the Muslims, progressives, they have been oppressed their entire life. You know, they have these uh, religious fundamentalists, you know, fabric people, and they break the chains and they see the Western world as something that is really cool and really good. And then they somehow ended up like simping for the Western values. What they think Western value mm-hmm. is like liberal kind of like values, and on the other mm-hmm. side, the privileged Western woke kids who think like the liberalism is the issue, you know, thinking for alternative that they don't really like, you know, things like that, and somehow ended up supporting the religious fundamentalists, and that's kind of yeah. something that I'm noticing. So I think like. Both are not too good, but I mean, personally, what do I support? I mean, I don't know, man. It's that like both of them are wrong, but for the right reason. Like, I think uh, one of the stunts I've taken is pro civilian stunts. I'm for pro yeah. Israeli civilian and pro Palestinian civilian, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Problem that's is the I government mean. and the elites that don't want peace, basically. Yeah, that's true. And Netanyahu really sees like his political Mayim career Mayim. here. That's what I really like about yeah. Mazi, like because she also came yeah. from the communist background. Like she yeah. is a leftist, secularist, never compromised her values, and like legit yeah. Iranian first generation communists. You know, mm-hmm. like the feminists are radical, and always try to, like always have a really good stance that is pro workers, you know, pro working class, pro population, yeah. not the states, not the elites. That's what I really like about her. Even in this current situation, like a lot of ex Muslims are simping for Israel, you know, pro Zionists, anti Palestinians, mm-hmm. you know, things like that. And like when we look at the woke left, pro Hamas, you know, anti Jewish, mm-hmm. Bush kind of like Nazi yeah. kind of things. And yeah, but yeah. At, at that time, we really needed that position, like pro-Palestinians and pro-Israelis. Mm-hmm. But we say fuck to the elite class, you know, like elite ruling class from both sides. Doesn't matter if it is Hamas or... I mean, people I don't mean, realize that how they're being played as a pawn and fooled, basically. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But the-